I'm making cauliflower cheese. Now this recipe uses creamy Taleggio cheese and rich fragrant truffle oil for a really luxurious take on a classic winter dish. And it's one of those really sort of nostalgic dishes that really stands the test of time and works really well with lots of different cheeses, but this version is really special. So just use a small knife and just carefully trim off the florets. So just work your way around the cauliflower and you want them to all be roughly the same size. Take florets and transfer them to a pan of salted water. Cook the florets until they're just tender. After about four or five minutes, drain the cauliflower. And then just set that aside while you make the sauce. So using the same pan, set it over a medium to high heat and add the butter. Once the butter's melted, add the flour and just whisk together to combine. It's really important when you're making a roux like this to cook out the butter and flour together for at least a minute or so, because otherwise you're going to end up with a really raw taste of flour in your sauce. So once it turns a pale golden colour, you can start to very gradually add the milk. Just whisk in the milk completely after each addition and get rid of any lumps, because what you're looking for is a really smooth, luxuriously silky sauce. And then just add the rest of the milk and just whisk it in. Just leave the sauce to tick away over a low heat for about sort of five to eight minutes until it's really thick and creamy. Give it a whisk every now and again. And while the sauce is cooking, I'm just gonna chop up the cheese. And Taleggio cheese is one of my favorites. It works so well in sauces because it melts down really, really well. Just cut the cheese into small chunks and just dice the cheese into small cubes. That's gonna help it melt more easily later. All right, that sauce is there now. It's thickened up really nicely. So scoop up the cheese. And then for a little bit of warmth, just add some Dijon mustard. Give it a whisk together. And then season with some salt and pepper. So take an oven proof dish and tip in the cauliflower. And just, just arrange it in an even layer over the bottom and then pour the sauce over the top. That's almost ready for the oven, but just for a little bit of extra texture, I'm just gonna take a slice of sourdough bread, tear that into the food processor, and then for a little bit of luxury, a few drops of truffle oil, and then just blitz up to breadcrumbs. So what you're gonna get with that is a great kind of crunch from the bread and also that lovely truffle fragrance from the oil. So once the breadcrumbs are on top, that just goes into a preheated oven at 200 degrees. Now that smells incredible. It's golden and bubbling. It's had about half an hour and the top's lovely and crisp. And just a final little flourish, a little bit more truffle oil over the top. And there we have it, a really luxurious version of what is a classic wintry dish of cauliflower cheese.